Now, many of you guys eat many different types of food every single day. But what if it was your last meal? Hey there, viral fans, it's TBL here once again. And in today's video, we'll be covering strange and crazy meals that inmates had as their final one while on death row. So, let's go ahead and dive on into today's list. Now, kicking off our list at the number 10 spot is John Wayne Gacy, who was 52 years old when he was injected. Now, he was charged with rape along with 33 accounts of murder. Before being convicted, John was the manager of three KFC restaurants. Well, this would probably explain why he ordered 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of the original recipe of KFC chicken, and a full pound of strawberries. Talk about a strange combination of food. Now, in quite the funny situation, Ricky Ray Rector, who was charged with two counts of murder, asked for steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and some pecan pie as his final meal. But here's where it gets weird. Rector didn't eat the pie. Instead, he left it and told the guard that he was saving it for later. Who knows, maybe he'll come back one day as a ghost to get it. Now, next up in this very shocking case, Ted Bundy was charged with rape, necrophilia, at least 35 counts of murder, and had escaped prison once before. That's quite the rap sheet. Bundy declined a special meal, so he was given the regular last meal, which consisted of a medium rare steak, over easy eggs, hash browns, toast with butter and jelly, some milk, and some juice. Now, this normally would have been a very delightful meal that no doubt anyone would enjoy. And of course, we would have expected Ted to do the same, if he wasn't on his way to the electric chair. Thomas J. Grosso, who was executed in 1995 for two murders, had a very simple request, SpaghettiOs. But he didn't receive them. Instead, he was given regular spaghetti along with two dozen steamed mussels, steamed clams, a half a dozen barbecue spare ribs, a double cheeseburger from Burger King, two strawberry milkshakes, half of a pumpkin pie, and a 16 ounce can of meatballs. They gave him all of this even though all he wanted was his childhood favorite meal of SpaghettiOs. All in all, it's a pretty sad event. One, because it would have simply cost way less just to get the SpaghettiOs. And two, because it was his last meal and he didn't even get what he wanted. In 1998, Judy Buenoano was to be executed via electric chair for poisoning her husband. Now, she took her punishment, but not before having the last few bites of her life. For those bites, she decided to ingest a very small amount of asparagus, some strawberries, broccoli, and a cup of tea. Then, after she was finished, she took a very uncomfortable seat in the electric chair. There, her life was ended. Well, at least she got to eat what she wanted. Velma Barfield, a known serial killer, was the very first woman to be executed after 1976, well, at least in the US. Now, contrary to the obvious pun here, she didn't actually ask for cereal as her last meal. However, what she did have was proportionately somewhat similar. In what may seem like a brave stand, she ordered some cheese doodles and a bottle of Coca-Cola. That's it. Huh. That actually seems like something I would eat while laying in bed and watching American Horror Story. For his last meal, Ronnie Lee Gardner ordered a very simple and common dinner. It consisted of lobster tail, steak, apple pie, and some vanilla ice cream. The only abnormal thing he requested was that he would be able to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating. Surprisingly, the guards let him. In fact, they let him watch the complete trilogy the full 11 hours and 23 minutes, which included the credits. The guards let him eat in peace and watch the movies. And after a while, the guards assigned to the death row block actually watched the movies with him. Not a bad way to go if you ask me. Timothy McVeigh committed 168 known murders in Indiana. At 33 years old, he was charged and sentenced to death, unsurprisingly. Now, I know many of you out there are Bluebell fans who love ice cream, but you're probably not as crazy about it as Timothy was. For his very last meal, he requested two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Now, if he had gotten, say, the last two pints of Bluebell in existence, I would be pretty mad. Victor Feguer, 28 years old, was charged with kidnap and murder. For his punishment, he was put on death row. 
sound just like all of the other previous people we've named. Before his lethal injection though, he requested not two, not three, but one olive. Now that may seem unusual, but it's even stranger that he asked for the pit to be left in it. Talk about a mouth sore, especially if he were to bite directly into the olive. And for our final meal of this list, just as it was his, Angel Nieves Diaz declined his final meal. Now because of this, the staff at the prison just gave him the regular meal that they served to all inmates, but he declined that one as well. He was charged for murder, kidnapping, and armed robbery. Subsequently, he was given a lethal injection, which leads me to think he just had bigger things on his mind than food. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Be sure to let us know what you would want as your final meal in the comment section below. And of course, be sure to check out the scriptwriter for this episode, at Grow12Official on Twitter. And finally, if you'd like to hear more from me, be sure to check me out right here on YouTube, at The Black Link. There will be links to all of that in the description box below. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I am TBL, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.